I'm Thani Nandini Islam and I'm the founder of High Wildflower Botanica. My name is Larry and I'm the creator of LZO Accessories. My name is Jack Vanek. Um, my clothing line is also called Jack Vanek. Hi, I'm Daniela Kalmeyer of Kalmeyer, New York. My name is Shana Tabor. I'm the owner and designer of Ngabwe Trust. I'm Amanda. I'm the designer of Amel. Uh, I'm Amira. This is Kim. <laughs> I'm Kim. We're the Talbot Girls from Talbot Avenue. Uh, I create leather bags, mainly backpacks and wallets, minimalist designs for women. We create effortlessly cool, active living attire for the modern on-the-go girl. I am the founder of High Wildflower, a small batch of perfume and candle line, and I'm also an author of Bright Lines, a novel that was published last year. Everything that speaks to your sassy soul, that's my tagline. <laughs> I started my brand when I was in college making little rubber bracelets that had hashtag like phrases on them and since then it's blown up and it's now a full lifestyle clothing brand. Magic and other fun fantasies. Interdisciplinary installations that are mixed media and I do a fashion label which is uh, very experimental. I have a New York based lifestyle brand of ready to wear shoes, bags and jewelry. It keeps everything fresh and there's like new surges of design. I think it's important to stand out and express yourself in as many ways as possible and you really can't do that with big label brands. And a lot of these young businesses are based here in the U.S. and producing in the U.S. So they're bringing business to local manufacturers. Also, it inspires newness. I think we're really in an age of craving authenticity and removing creativity forward. One of the best pieces of advice we were given is that nothing can ever be left to chance. So yeah. in everything we do and every facet of it, um, it's very calculated. We make sure that we cross all our T's and dot all our I's. And you know, there's so many opportunities where you can give up. And I think that the, mo the greatest moments are the ones like just beyond giving up. And this is a real time for you to take that risk Realize that you might have a loss, um, either financially or you know, sacrificing your time to take yourself to the next level. First and foremost, stick together. I think it's really important that women help and support each other. Um, we have an incredible network of uh, creators and potential collaborators. I think it's really important to believe in yourself and move forward and with your instincts and with your craft. Um, you're gonna hear no a lot of times in a lot of different ways and don't give up. My novel, Bright Lines, was chosen by New York City's first lady, Shirlane McRae, for her book club. And being in Gracie Mansion, talking about my book with women who were reading it and mostly women who were reading it, uh, was such a life-changing experience and I felt like this New York book finally had found a home. It happened to be a day that I was running errands and like just running around the city working and really realizing like who I was, that I was like not only just like in New York but like doing my own thing and like working for myself and being who I wanted to be. I think there's the little moments of walking out of my office and seeing a complete stranger walk past me wearing my clothes. That's a pretty cool New York moment. Our best New York moments have been in this booth at Capsule, yeah. drinking our rosé, meeting amazing people. And having a good time, yeah. working and playing simultaneously. Yeah. yeah.